About a year ago, the U.S. Air Force was asking to cut a significant number of early model F-22s from its 183 Raptor inventory. In 2023, the U.S. Air Force lodged a plea to retire its fleet of 32 F-22 Raptor Block 20 units currently in operation. Furthermore, the U.S. Air Force requested for the budget originally allocated for upgrading these planes to be rerouted into the development of the sixth-generation combat aircraft, also referred to as the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD. This proposal encountered a roadblock in Congress when discussed in the framework of the FY23 National Defense Authorization Act, a document that was published in December 2023. But the U.S. Air Force has now designated the Raptor as its highest priority. Referring to the military competition with China at a McKelsey Defense Programs conference in Washington, D.C., U.S. Air Force Acquisition Chief Andrew Hunter said, F-22 is a critical capability. So what's my highest priority in the near term for that great power competition? I'd probably put F-22 at the top. Hunter's statements indicate the possibility of retaining and upgrading an undisclosed quantity of the older F-22s manufactured by Lockheed Martin during the late 1990s and early 2000s. U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff General David Alvin offered a comment on upgrading older F-22s, saying, We're looking to be able to take those that are the most combat capable, keep them in the fight, and then leverage some of the resources for those that are going to be cost prohibitive and time prohibitive. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why the F-22 is still considered the highest priority in a potential conflict with China. Let's check the three reasons. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. F-22 Raptor is the first operational aircraft to combine Super Cruise and Super Maneuverability. Super Cruise is the ability to have sustained supersonic flight without having to use the highly inefficient afterburners. With this, F-22 can intercept targets which subsonic aircraft would lack the speed to pursue, and an afterburner-dependent aircraft would lack the fuel to catch. The F-22 Raptor is equipped with a pair of Pratt & Whitney F-119 PW100 turbofan engines, delivering formidable power. Under normal conditions, each engine produces 116 kilonewtons of thrust, which can escalate to an impressive 156 kilonewtons with afterburners engaged. These specifications enable the Raptor to attain remarkable speeds reaching Mach 2.25. Moreover, it boasts a combat range extending up to 850 kilometers or 530 miles and an overall range of 2,960 kilometers or 1,840 miles, surpassing the F-35 in these vital aspects. Radar is like an eye for an aircraft. There was no budget limitation when the ANAPG-77 radar was developed for the F-22 Raptor. No compromises were made and this keeps it at the top even today. The ANAPG-77 radar features a low-observable, active aperture, electronically scanned array that can track multiple targets under any weather conditions. It has a range of around 400 kilometers or around 250 miles against a one square meter target. This radar can also be used for electronic attacks by focusing its signals on the enemy to overload their sensors. The radar changes frequencies more than 1,000 times per second to resist jamming and have a low probability of intercept. 
Low probability of intercept means the enemy radar warning receivers are not able to detect that a radar lock has been achieved against it, and hence opponents have little warning of an impending F-22 attack. With AN-APG-77, the F-22 can gather a lot of data, and some experts have said that the Raptor pilot has a God's eye view of the battle space. It's also important to note that having a powerful radar is just one part of the story. Integrating them with other components of the aircraft is very important. Raptor has seen many such upgrades and optimizations that have been incorporated after direct feedback which were received from mission planners and pilots after the jet has been deployed in real combat. Raptor is also getting Link 16 installed. With Link-16, military aircraft, as well as ships and ground forces, can exchange their tactical pictures in near real time. Link-16 also supports the exchange of text messages, imagery data, and provides two channels of digital voice, 2.4 kilobits per second and or 16 kilobits per second in any combination. F-22 Raptor is developed from the ground up to be stealthy. F-22 is the stealthiest fighter ever built and has a very low RCS radar cross-section of only 0.0001 meters squared. It achieves this due to its structural design as well as the use of radar-absorbing materials or RAM. It can't be detected by most radars. Even if some radars are able to detect it, They'll find it very hard to track it and have a radar lock. Viewers may note that to target an aircraft, quality tracking is needed so that the missiles can be guided towards it. Hence, Raptor can strike without the enemy knowing it's there in the first place. Viewers may note that unlike the F-35, as per federal law, F-22 can't be exported to any country, even to the closest allies. The reason behind this restriction mainly revolves around concerns regarding the advanced technology and capabilities of the aircraft, which the U.S. government aims to safeguard. Interestingly, the Raptor is 50 times smaller on the radar compared to the F-35 and is way more stealthy than its Chinese rival. While the Chengdu J-20 is touted to be a stealth fighter, its profile is more or less closer to a 4++ +++ generation fighter jet. So, in a confrontation, the F-22 will have a distinct edge. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.